So our final example for today is evaluating the derivative of tangent of x. So our f of x will be tangent of x. Our f of x plus h will be tangent of x plus h. And just like all other trigonometric functions, addition of tangents is no easier than sine or cosine. Tangent of x plus h will actually be equal to tangent of x plus tangent of h divided by 1 minus tangent x multiplied by tangent h. This is the formula for addition of tangents, and this will be our f of x plus h. So, what we want to do is start off by taking the limit as h approaches 0 for that whole mess, which will be tangent x plus tan h over 1 minus tan x tan h. Uh, then we want to subtract off our initial function, which will simply be tan x, f of x plus h, minus f of x, all over h. And what we want to do now is we want to join these under a common denominator. So we're going to have to multiply this by this term right over here. So we want to take the limit as h approaches 0 for tan x plus tan h and we want to distribute this entire thing up there. So t negative tan x multiplied by 1 will simply be minus tan x plus tan squared x, tan squared of x, tan h. Wait, I think I added one, one too many brackets right over here. And because these are under a common fraction now, what we can do is we can drag the denominator of the numerator into the denominator. So this will be placed alongside this h right over here. So this becomes h multiplied by 1 minus tangent of x tangent of h. <sighs> so now all we can do is we can cancel out common factors that we don't want and I see a common tan x, which we can get rid of. So all we'll be left with is tan h plus tan squared of x tan h over this mess. So we want to take the limit as h approaches 0 for tan h plus tan squared of x tan h over h multiplied by 1 minus tan x tan h. And what we can do right now is we can factor a tan h out of the numerator. So let's start fresh from the top. If we wanted to factor a tan h out of the numerator, we would be left with the limit as h approaches 0 for tan h multiplied by 1 plus tan squared of x over h multiplied by 1 minus tan x tan h and Finally, this portion right over here, 1 plus tan squared of x is actually a trigonometric identity that you need to be familiar with, especially in calculus 2. In calculus 1, it's not so obvious, but 1 plus tangent squared of x is also equal, equal to secant squared of x. So we will substitute that in. So should I start a new line? No, I'm not going to do that. So this is actually equal to tan h multiplied by secant squared of x. Finally, what we want to do is we want to split up this tan h term into its two constituent functions, which are sine of h over cosine of h, which we will be taking the limit 
as h approaches zero for this will become sine of h over cosine of h. So the cosine of h will drop into the denominator. So sine of h secant squared of x over h multiplied by 1 minus tangent x tangent h and then a cosine of x, a uh, cosine of h rather. And this is the limit as h approaches 0. I see some terms that can be cancelled out. The sine of h over h will go straight to 1. So all we'll be left with is the limit as h approaches 0 for secant squared of x for this entire thing. Limit as h approaches 0 for secant squared of x divided by 1 minus tangent of x tangent of h cosine of h. Now we have no more problems in the denominator. If we were to take the limit as h approaches 0, cosine of h would become 1. If we wanted to take the limit as h approaches 0 for this, tangent of h would become 0, so 1 minus 0 would leave us with 1. So the denominator will go straight to 1 and all we will be left with is secant squared of x. So secant squared of x is the derivative of tangent of x.